Ghosts in the Garden Man. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Oh, oh my gosh! Did Kyoko kill him? Is that what happened? Why is there... Are they wearing the shirt? Is it just lying over them? It looks like it's lying over them. Okay. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh. Uh, are they really dead? For sure, but... Who is it? Ooh, a hundred mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie, dude. What, what does that mean? I have no idea. What does that mean? I have no idea. Just to make things clear. Ooh. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... Dead? I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> <sighs> I told you, there's a corpse hanging out of here! No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You've seen so many, Owie. You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Uh, okay. Let's uh, figure, let's look at the corpse. Sprinkler. I have to check the body before oh, anything okay. else. Idiot. He said to look around is the thing. Well, obviously, so, you look at a body first. Those are some nice boots. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. What's that behind their head on the ground? Hair? Okay. I mean, this is clearly a woman. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. If only there were some way of figuring all this out. But one thing I do know... Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How'd they wind up... Wind up? Wait, yeah, that's... Wind? Wait. Are wind and wind spelled the same way? I believe so. How'd they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. I must conclude that they're dead. It's the knife that's been driven into their stomach. Their clothes are stained a bright red. No, I'll take your word pink. for it. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? This is literally like the fifth or sixth murder we've witnessed. <laughs> Who is it? Your face is all on fire hidden. So I don't have a clue. If only there were covered. some way of fig looking at their face, dude. It's impossible. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Or a guy with really good fashion sense. Huh? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the oh, outline okay. of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm sure it's a girl. I've never gotten this wet looking at a guy's corpse. Really? Then could it be? Okay then! Let's just tear the mask clean off! Come on. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. And did the next instant. Oh, good lord. That's... that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, it blew up. Okay, sure. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Bloop. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. How do you prepare to pass out? But then... Hurry up. Put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. The earth? Yeah. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. There you go. Oh, that's the body. I was like, oh my gosh, Toko. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure you said that. Oh, uh, okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Where'd he get that bucket? As hard as I could. It's a garden, so I'm assuming there's somewhere to get water in here. I guess. He was pretty quick about that. Yeah. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. Well, 
It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Flesh? Wow. Ooh. I, I guess that took care of it. Uh, what the hell, man? It exploded? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man! Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? How would we have found out who it was if it wasn't someone we already knew? Who isn't here right now? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um, there's only one person missing. It's Kyoko. K Kyoko? Kyoko does wear boots. Then that dead body... Is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, I mean, who else? There is one other person. In other words, the Mastermind. What? The Mastermind? Come on, there's no way the Mastermind got Charbroil get serious! I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The Mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a women girl can't be a women mastermind. Women can't be masterminds, too. That's crazy. Are you kidding me? I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, that master is a man in his late 30s. It seems even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. You're a bigot, Yasuhiro. 30-year-old men can be young girls. Exactly. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? What? Oh. Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Uh. Makuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about right now? Oh, did I forget... Oh, damn, I forgot to tell you guys about that. Uh, yeah, the other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. Wow. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. That's, uh, that's about it. Well, well all Kyoko told me was... I feel like we've heard this a couple times already. Yeah. It sounds like Kyoko thinks Makuro Ukasaba is the mastermind. Yep, yep, that's right. Yep, we saw that, didn't we? There's another student here, and it's a female, that would match the body's characteristics. Being student-y and female-ish. In that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermind-y, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here. And she's the ultimate despair? But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot. Coming to TLC, Teenage Bigfoot. How did she wind up burned to a crisp? None of this makes any sense. Did you just suddenly show up and then die? I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, uh, uh, hey, wait. What? I found their wallet. What? Oh, uh, where's Toko? Uh, are we forgetting something, you know, Toko? Oh yeah, she totally like, got blown up! Uh. <laughs> Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion is okay, yeah. <laughs> there she is. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Uh, what just ha happened, Master? You declared for the whole world is here that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. 
Oh, I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you inhale. Holy That's enough shit. enough for me to live. <laughs> what? <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know, that one just really got me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Yeah, me too, Yasuhiro. Who are you? You're looking knife. Oh, that's the knife. Gotcha. Yeah. I should take a close look at the body one more time. That's what we're trying to do. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. D don't worry, I don't, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. Wink. I'm not Kyoko after all. Ooh, a dirty, dirty girl. Yeah, the dirty necrophilia. Oh, she's oh. got a hand tattoo. She's also got like nail polish. There's something next to the body. It's a, it's a key. That's a weird looking key. Is this what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No. But what did you? See? Oh well, we've seen this. No, that's a different key. Yeah, no, that's not it at all. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Maybe that goes like the Data Room or whatever. This key is... Oh, is it? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then? It's a key I've never seen before, idiot. Of course I don't know what it goes to. I suppose we'll find out what exactly it does go to in the next episode, though. Okay, bye bye Yeah, bye bye everybody.